<laughs> Hi guys, oh god, ew, why did I do that? Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. I feel like I say that in every video. But today is a very special video. I hope you all like it. Anyway, so the past like few months, I've always like wanted a puppy, like a little companion. And I absolutely adore like cavapoos. Um, they're just so like, fluffy and cute. And also they don't like shed hair and stuff, which is a win, like because then you don't like, there's no hair on the sofas or on your beds and stuff like that. I've been looking recently and I remember asking my parents and they was like, no, you're not allowed one. This is probably like two months ago, just a bit before lockdown or during lockdown, like the start of it. And they was like, no, you're not allowed one, blah, blah, blah. And like, it must've been like a month ago. I was just like, so I'm like, look, I will pay for the puppy. I will look after it. I will pay for its vet bills, its food, it's like everything that it needs like I will literally pay for all of it and I was just like looking online and I was looking at like pets for homes which is like obviously like a really good like I was looking and I found this breeder she was so lovely it was basically a cavapoo and a miniature poodle who like or she was obviously having litter they weren't born yet the poodle was Casey registered I think and like obviously when you want to get a dog you want to check that it's like all clear it's all tested like there's obviously nothing wrong with it, nothing like wrong with its genes. And there was so much like information about the puppy and everything. I messaged her, I contacted her. And the thing is you have to be so quick with these things because like I think Cavapoo is such a like, a lot of people want Cavapoo's. So, like they're really hard to get a hold of. Within the first few hours it was like I called her and she, and she picked her up. And basically I was just saying that I was interested. I wanted a boy Cavapoo. And at that moment in time I really wanted like a ginger and white Cavapoo. Like I'll put a photo here. Like So the mum was pregnant and she said that she did get a pregnancy like scan and they saw four babies um but they were so like big that they couldn't really tell if there was any more in there because they thought there would have been some more in there but because of like the virus and stuff they couldn't really go and get them go and get it tested um so i was fifth on the list so there was definitely going to be four puppies but i was fifth on the list so it was like either i was gonna get it or i wasn't so they was actually born the other day i had to wait three weeks until i knew if i was going to have one and it was obviously tempting to like because i put a deposit down um so i had to wait those three weeks to find out and then she had them like i, I think it was like six days early so she had a little puppy six days early and obviously i think it takes like up to 24 hours to give them birth and i messaged her and she was like oh like she's just had four like Within the next two hours is like if we'll know if she's having another one or not. Two hours went past, she was like, it's, it doesn't look very like likely. And obviously I got my deposit back. It was quite sad because like I was obviously looking forward to getting my my little companion, like little best friend. Firstly, first of May that I got told uh she I wouldn't have her puppy. So on so the first of June I was constantly scrolling for um pets for homes and then I came across this one here. And I was just like, oh my god, like, I've never seen that colour before. I was just like, he's literally so beautiful. And I contacted the woman and she and I was first on the list and I was like, oh yes. And it was a boy as well. And she said his colour was sable, so I think that's a rarer colour. So it's like obviously a mixture. I put some more photos of him here. And I was just like, I'm like so interested in him. Like he's literally gorgeous. He's seven weeks old, six days. She was like, we done a FaceTime call. She showed me him, adorable. Oh, and he just looks so playful. She said he isn't a whiny dog either. So like that means he probably won't bark as much as other dogs do. Fingers crossed. I was just like, so look, I'll get, she didn't really want to take a deposit, but I was like, it'll make me feel more secure if I like obviously give a deposit. Cause then I know like he will be mine. And so she was like, uh, okay, can we drop him off day after tomorrow? And I was like, what? So the Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Um, and I was like, yeah. But it was just like all so quick because obviously the, we would if we did get a puppy from the other woman, we would have had to wait eight weeks, but now it's gone to waiting two days. And we're like, oh my God. And so today we went out for it coming tomorrow because the puppy will be coming tomorrow. We went out, we got like training mattresses, like toys, little food bowls, like not a deep one because his head's going to be so small. Uh, I ordered him a bed and a blanket yesterday, so I have no idea when that's supposed to be coming. I really hope it's soon. So he's got like a little anxiety bed, fluffy anxiety bed, and we're going to pick up my auntie's cage. So it's just so he doesn't pee inside and we can teach him how to like, obviously to go the go to it outside. Two hours ago, I got a phone call and she was like, uh, can we drop him off today? And I'll 
was like, what? All the other puppies are going to their homes today. Like, we was wondering if he can obviously come to you guys today. So like, he starts the journey the same day as them. And I was like, um, yeah, <laughs> okay. So he's getting dropped off at half seven today rather than tomorrow. My mum and dad are having to go get the cage after my dad comes back from work. So he's a bit like, ah, I'm just like trying to tidy up the house as well. But like, just making sure there's not like little things lying around in case he puts it in his mouth and stuff. But so I am going to be vlogging, obviously receiving him, his first night here and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy my little journey with me of getting my first ever puppy. I am so excited. I literally can't explain how excited I am. Take you guys on this adventure with me. Also, he's getting dropped off to the house because I think her daughter is like vulnerable. So instead of me going to their house, they're bringing the puppy to our house. It is only like 2.43, so we gotta wait a few more hours and he'll be here. Hi guys, so it's currently nearly 5.40. For some reason, I feel really sick, but I don't know. Um, it's probably like two hours till he arrives. Um, my mum and dad's just gone out to get the cage. Ah! It's a bit early, but like there was a car outside and I thought it was it and I low-key just shat myself <laughs> when it was in. I just got scared for no reason. So my mum and dad have just gone and collected the cage and right now I'm just going to clean it out because obviously there's been like, my auntie has two Labradors. When they was puppies, my auntie's used it. So I'm just going to give it a clean. I look ugly. Everybody, me, what's his name? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Morgan. Um, I've got something to show you. Really? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'll have to put him down. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like tearing up. Ah! It's like the new puppy. Yeah. Dan's even told me that they couldn't get one. Well, no, we couldn't. We uh, the day the day she told me that we couldn't get it. Then um, so the day after, I was looking online and then I found him, like within the hour. <laughs> We took him out at like half nine for a wee and he didn't. So now it's like nearly 12 o'clock, we're gonna try again. <laughs> the video just got on the cold. He didn't go, so we gotta wait another half hour. Mm -hmm. So it's nearly one in the morning and I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm gonna have to get up at four when it's like kinda light. Um, I forgot to mention when I took him to the toilet this morning, he done it at like half four and I was just like, oh, good boy. And then uh, he was jumping in his wee and splattering it everywhere. But yeah. This is him eating his lunch. Oh my God, what is he doing? <laughs> Why is his back legs up? Be naughty, he keeps eating slippers. Wilfred, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys who knows how to sit. So let's get him. No, no jumping. No, Wilfred, sit. Good boy. Oh, he just literally puts your whole hand in your mouth. He does make this weird noise in his sleep, though. I think it's because he's biting his tongue. If you can see there, that's his little tongue. That's his tongue. It's him in my bedroom for the first time. Like, oh my God, I have to be careful. There's clothes. He's, but like, look how beautiful his color is. Oh, so adorable. Also, I forgot to mention how I'm going to be like taking poor prints every like month. 
just to see how big his claws grow. I know he's not going to get that big because obviously he's like mixed with a toy poodle. But yeah, I just wanted to see. I think he's getting a bit comfortable with my pyjamas there. Aren't you? Wilfred. Wilfred. <whistles> Hello. Hello. So guys, this is little Wilfred, the cover. Uh, we've had him for like six days now. He's a good boy. He's learned to pee on the mat. What else have you done? You've learned to sit, haven't you? Um, we had to give him a tablet yesterday, a worming tablet. And then his second vaccination is like end of June. So he sometimes he gets too excitable and then he wets himself. I'm going to make an Instagram for him. Say hello. Who's that? Who's saying hello? Yeah, is that you? Look, is that you? We're hoping that he doesn't like lose his colouring. So I know, like with Cavapoos, they can um obviously like lose their colouring. This is his first time he's been in my room actually. Like I haven't rang him up here yet. Um, he does like to get a hold of my hair, so I have to be very careful with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my little. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no. This is my little Cavapoo. And you'll probably see loads of him. I'm gonna, I haven't posted him on TikTok yet, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. What's the date today? I think it's the 8th of June. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Say bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> give a kiss. Give a kiss. Bonk. Bye bye.